Hello friends, now we will see the FM noise triangle. FM noise triangle which will indicate the immunity of the system with respect to the noise. Means we can check how much amount of the noise will be getting added to the FM system. Now here we will consider here in the diagram we will consider a single noise voltage having a frequency which falls in the pass band of the receiver. Now here the noise voltage here the noise voltage will be get mixed with the carrier vector Vc. Now the noise vector it is superimposed here Vn is nothing but the noise vector. The noise vector it is superimposed on carrier vector and it is rotating at a relative angular velocity omega n minus omega c. Okay, this is related with the noise vector rotation. Okay. Now due to this the amplitude and the phase of the carrier will change. The maximum deviation into amplitude will be the maximum deviation how much it is possible when this particular Vn vector will reach somewhere here then only we can see that the maximum amplitude of that particular takes place and the maximum deviation into the phase and we indicate it as a phi okay how much will be the maximum value of the phi sin inverse Vn divided by Vc okay now here every time it will try to measure how much the effect of the noise voltage is superimposed on the carrier and according to that the change relative change into that phi it is taking place now here we can say that if we compare the rectangular distribution of the am and the rectangular distribution of the fm we say it as a noise triangle that the how much amount of the noise is getting added to the carrier it can be identified now here this is the rectangular distribution of the am we can say that rectangular distribution okay so here m equal to 1 that is maximum frequency here modulation index of that m of f equal to frequency modulated wave it is del divided by fm now considering the del as a frequency deviation if we consider frequency deviation as a constant then directly the modulation index will be proportional inversely proportional to the modulating frequency that means we can say that the if the modulating frequency increases then the modulation index will be drops and here the effect of the noise it is observed more for higher modulating frequency as compared to the lower modulating frequency that when the fm the modulating frequency increases that time the modulation index drops down now here at the lower one the maximum frequency the effect of that particular noise triangle it is shown more whereas when the m it is higher m of a m is nothing but m of a the modulation index it attains at the maximum value then that time obviously the frequency of the modulating wave it is lower one so less amount of the noise will be getting added to the fm wave now this is all about the FM noise triangle concept. Thank you for watching.